This. Where are you? Wait a minute, what's this? Play Doh and cookie cutters. And cookie cutters and Play Doh? It says, says hi. Hi. Pencil. <laughs> what is it? Tinsel. Tinsel? What does it say? It says Play Doh fun. I left you a note in the Play Doh. Done. So I'm gonna do the jingle balls. Here's my rooster, and I colored it with all these colors. I think it looks really nice, Robbie. And a bunch of other colors like I did. She's gold. She's pencil gold. Mm -hmm. I sharpened it on both sides. Oh my goodness. So the two-sided pencil. We are done with school for the day and so I'm just gonna enjoy my salad that I picked up yesterday that I put in the fridge from Chick-fil-A. So I got the Cobb salad with the avocado lime ranch dressing and I always only just use one. I think two is overkill. But, you know, I could put, I could save one for later and enjoy it on a salad another day. But anyway, bon appetit. I have these shower steamers, which is not something that I normally buy. But I was shopping over at TJ Maxx um, of last week or so. And I thought these would be really good for, for Olivia's bathroom and for our bathroom. We usually take showers. I mean, I do have a bathtub in our bathroom here, but... Um, I'm normally a shower person, and I just thought these might be really good. And so, they are eucalyptus and spearmint. There's 10 pieces in this box. Let's see what I paid for this. $7.99. $7.99 at TJ Maxx, and I already gave her some for her shower. I bought them kind of with the intention to do, like, stocking stuffers, but I want to go ahead and put them into the tear tray in here that I keep in my bathroom. So, here we go. So when I opened them, actually when I gave Olivia hers, we noticed this too, but it's got some type of like a glittery kind of, I'm not really sure. Let's see, what, what did we say this was? Eucalyptus and spearmint. So I'm not really sure what that is supposed to be, but I guess it's for decorative purposes. It looks like broken makeup to me. You know, like when you have a palette that breaks and goes everywhere. <laughs> That's what it looks like to me. All right, there we go. So here is the tear tray that I keep in our bathroom. This is in Brandon and Brandon's and my bathroom. And I, in the bottom of this tray, I just put some of that like decorative grass that kind of comes in a gift basket every now, every now and then. You'll have that in there. I have two other shower steamers and the new ones I just put in. And then this is a bath bomb. This actually is from a good friend of mine. It's actually a really good quality bath bomb and I need to take the time to use it but it's essential bath bombs with hemp flower extract. And you know what I need to do? I need to do like a self-care day. And I'll let you know how this is because I've heard really good things about it. Just for decorative purposes, really, I added a little greenery Christmas tree, uh, an ornament, farm fresh Christmas trees, just for a pop of the, the holiday spirit. And then a poopery, poo before you go, kind of good to have. And this is, I don't, this is like a nail brush and this is an oyster shell painted gold around the rim. And then it's got some really nice paper detail, blue and white. I thought it was so pretty. My mom gifted me that. She was thinking about me on a trip one time. So I just keep the nail brush in there. I think it looks nice, but um, yeah. So there we go. Other than the tear tray, I don't really decorate our bathroom, but I do usually put in a seasonal hand soap 
And the one we have is frosted peppermint in here. And in this little tray, we also have our Q-tips, my moisturizer that I love, and I've just got my rings there in the tray too. All right, so I'm about to start putting dinner together. Robbie, I'm gonna do a bit of a video, okay? Yeah. All right. Um, and I'm kind of in the mood for something snacky, something different, and something good, you know. So, uh, oh, and something easy. And I kind of just want to use what I have on hand, which is how I normally cook anyway. But here's what I'm thinking. I think we're going to do nachos. But I'm going to do two different kinds because let me show you why. I'm not like a professional nacho maker or anything, but I'm going to do two different types using ground beef. I'm going to split this one onion between the two batches. These are the chips we're going to use today and the cheese we're going to sprinkle on top. Now, one one type I'm going to season with taco seasoning and I'm just going to follow the directions on the back of this container. I picked this up from Sands Club. The other seasoning I'm going to use is this Kinder's Creamy Steakhouse. I can't think about, I think this is new and I can't think how else to use it. As, I mean, besides like maybe on hamburgers or steak seasoning or something like that, but it sounded so good and the horseradish and garlic that's intriguing to me. I haven't, I haven't always been the biggest fan of horseradish, but I love Kinder's, and so I feel like it's probably probably going to be good. So this is going to be a little bit of a different nacho flavor. We're going to see how it goes. Also, I got this from Sam's Club when I ran in looking for um, the night before Christmas that I couldn't find. While I was in there, I also picked this up because I I had seen it once before. And it sounds so interesting to me. So I went ahead and got it. I was talking to Brandon about it last night and we think it might be good on chicken or pork of some kind. So we'll see about that on another day. And then also I got these out because I love candied jalapenos. Sometimes they're really sweet along with the spicy. So I'm not sure, I've never had this brand, but I do love these. So I got these out in case they'll be good on the nachos, we'll see. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to season, I'm gonna, brown the meat, season appropriately, and then I'll show you how I do nachos in the oven. All right, I've got the ground beef browned and drained. I added half an onion to each container, and I'm just gonna use one capful of each of the seasonings that I'm using. So this creamy steakhouse, which by the way, smells amazing. It smells so good. I'm just gonna sprinkle that right on top. And I'm gonna give it a quick stir. I've got the burners turned down to low at this point. I do a lot of my cooking by smell, actually. I don't taste a lot of the food as I'm cooking. But, um, so if this smells good, I will leave it as so. If it needs a little more seasoning, if I, you know, if it smells like it needs more seasoning, I'll add more. Oh my, that smells so good. That smells so good. Okay, so according to these directions, oh, this cap is little. Okay, so for this one, actually, I need to get out a measure. I'm gonna pour a cup. Get a little pot over here. And for this one, I'm going to add um, the seasoning and then two thirds a cup of water as well. That's what the instructions say to do. Give it a little stir, and I'm going to bring this up to the center. I actually might season this one a little bit more. Okay. Oh my gosh, you guys, it smells so good. All right, I'm just going to dump a little bit more on here. I have not met a Kinder's seasoning that I don't like. The only one that I, on purpose, haven't tried is the one with truffle because I don't really like truffle at all, really. Okay, so I'm gonna turn this one all the way down. So that burner is off. I'm just gonna let this sit while this one gets done. So some of that water just needs to 
cook off. You know what? I might add, I'm going to add a touch of water to that one too. Just a little bit. Okay, cook it off a little bit too. Keep it, keep it from getting too dry. Wow. I am so excited to try this right here. I know this is going to be good. But that's why I wanted to make this on the same time I made something that I knew was good already because that way we have an option to eat still if this one turned out to be not good, but I think this is gonna be quite delightful. I realize this meal isn't like Christmas content, but I do also know that there aren't any rules to Vlogmas that say that it has to be Christmas content, so we're gonna go with this. We're just a regular family. I'm just a regular woman, a regular mom who you know, I'm just trying to cook dinner and I thought this sounded good, but I also find that during the holiday season, I like to keep meals really simple that I prepare at home. It's just a regular day in the holiday season. So that's why we're going with nachos. All right, I've got the chips laid out on a pan. And then what, what I would like to do next is I just put this under the broiler as is and then I add cheese. When it comes out of the broiler, this just helps. I like the way that this heats everything through and makes, you know, helps the chips get all nice and crispy. All right, so here is the creamy steakhouse meat. This smells like a dang steakhouse. It smells so, so good. And then once this one comes out, I'll put this one in. Top it with cheese and serve it up for the kids. I just took this first pan out of the oven and as you can see like some of the chips are starting to get brown. That's what I was looking for and I do always have to keep the door cracked on the oven because if not I will forget that broiler is going and then we have burnt food. Nobody wants that. This would be even better with queso dip, but we don't have any. I think it's gonna be really, really tasty. Also, I wish we had some salsa, but we don't. That's okay. Oh yum, it smells good. Okay. I'm wondering if this would be good with like cheese and A1 sauce or some type of steak sauce. I'm going to try that. Okay. And then the same thing over here. It's going to shred, um, add some sh cheese on top. And I think we're going to go the extra easy route tonight and use paper plates. That sounds, sounds like it to me.
Those are going to make taco, taco flavor. This is like steakhouse flavor. Mm -hmm. Which I've never made before. So they might be good, they might not. All right, Robbie wants the regular flavor. When to stop. Oh, he's going to tell me when to stop. Good. Good. And you good. want some good. nacho, uh, you want sour cream? Mm -hmm. You want it on top or on the side? And I'm going to be getting some too. All right, get yourself a fork. And I'll come check in with y'all in a minute and see how it really is. Let's okay. hand it. It's not hot if you need to hold it. Hi. All right, here we go. Hold to get you a napkin, too. Hi. Here we go. We're going to have nachos for dinner. Oh, you got to say that a little more clear. We're going to have nachos for dinner. Yes. Hello. <laughs> All right, I'm going to give these a try. With the steakhouse blend. I wish the cheese was a little more melty, but we are hungry. I might actually put mine in the microwave just to get a little more melty. I know. I know. Let's see what we think about this. That is really, really good. I'm gonna add a little bit of A1, just because I think it'll be complimentary, but it really doesn't need it. This is really good. All right, let's see about with some, right, let me see how sweet these are. I love a good jalapeno. That is really good, but I don't think it'll be good on these. I think it's a, it's too sweet for this dish, but I'll enjoy these another day with something different. That's tasty as well. Mm, maybe I'll try it with them later. <laughs> All right. Look at this. Holy cow. That is really, really good. I'll be back for more. Sure. Yum. You wanna zap it in the microwave, get a little more melty? No, I think it's just fine. She says it's just right. This is really, really good, you guys. I'm really glad I tried it. You should make those nachos more often. Were they good to you? Mm -hmm. This is my dessert. And now it's time for dessert. What flavor is that? Strawberry and vanilla. Strawberry vanilla. Is it good? Uh -huh. We picked up those popsicles so it's cold. <laughs> we picked those up from Aldi. So we're all finished with dinner and we got the kitchen cleaned up and I just wanted to make one final note about dinner. Both of the nacho flavors were really good. They were a little, they were a touch salty, but I think that the chips were just salty, so I'm not really sure, but anyway, if you decide to make these yourself, just be aware of the salt. They weren't bad. It was just a little tiny touch too salty. I also wanted to say that I did not show you everything we do for school. Like we don't just color roosters for our homeschool work. That was just the very tail end of the kids' schoolwork for the day. We use a specific Christmas curriculum every year and I've been thinking about sharing that with y'all maybe one day next week because for the rest of this week we don't have any more typical days. The kids have co-op, we have a field trip, and then um, Friday is usually not a typical day for us as well. So maybe one day next week I'll show you a you know a typical homeschool morning here at our house. Uh, I think that would be really really good. 
and I'm trying to think about what tomorrow's vlog is gonna bring. Like I said, the kids will be at co-op, so every week is a little bit different as to what I do while they're there. Um, I'm sure I'll get into something fun and I'll bring you along, so we'll get into it together. Anyway, thank you for adding a dash of gratitude to your day. I hope you enjoy the video, and I'll see you on the next one.